Hello, I'm the Budget Muddler and welcome to episode 4 of my SPAD 13 build. In the last episode, it ended with me thinking about stripping back the paint and starting again. I decided against that and thought that I would give it a go at trying to recover it. So, here we go. I started with giving a light sanding with Micromesh 1800 grit. As you can see here, the white has become a little bit pinky, so hopefully we'll try and rectify that later on. I gave it a quick wipe with my fingers, which seemed to help a lot. As you can see, the piece has fallen off. So I did a bit of quick research and found that there were only pipes coming from the top wing. So, bye. Now I tried a bit of my homebrew acrylic thinners to help clear that red tinge. That seems to have helped a bit too. Right, let's leave that to dry and check back on it later. After masking up the nose in one of the previous episodes, it's time to paint the nose section and wheels blue. The colour call out for this is Tamiya X4 Blue and I'll be thinning that down with some of my homebrew thins. There we have it, the nose and wheels have been sprayed. I really do like this speedy uppy thing. Now, let's have another bash at those white bits. I'm still not happy with those white bits. Oh well, let's see how well the blue turned out.
seems to have come out better than I expected. No seepage at all. Little overspray, mind you, but all in all, nothing that can't be fixed. I'm still unhappy with these white sections. Let's try some airbrushing. Here, I'm going to hand paint the red. I'm using a thinned Tamiya Red XO7 with Flowade and Paint Retarder. Too much Flowade, damn you, capillary action. Well, that seems to have cleaned up the red, but that white has still been a right royal pain. Now that the blue has had time to dry, let's do some of the touch-ups on this. It shouldn't take too long, especially with my speedy uppy thing. Time to get on with the wheels. I'll just snip them off the spray. Shove a cocktail stick in all and give a splash of Tamiya XF85 blah blah blah.
look what I got for my birthday. The h and Evolution CR Plus. Hmm, let's give it a drive out. Before that, let's mask up the blue. I'm adjusting the screw on the back of the airbrush. What this does is it's a stop. It allows you to set a certain amount of paint to come out so you can concentrate on what you're spraying rather than how much you're spraying. What I'm doing here is spraying white onto all the edges of the masking tape. This is to hopefully stop any seepage going under the masking tape. Now it's time to prep the red. I'm adding some thinners, I'm adding a little bit of flow aid, a little bit of paint retarder, and I'm going to be using my HS Evo for this. Mm. That went on so nicely. So let's unmask it. Come out okay. There are a few bits of seepage, which is where I'd not pressed the masking tape down hard enough. But on the whole, I'm pretty happy with this. Now onto some PE and some rigging. Firstly, I'm going to crack on with the wing bracing. As I did on the previous one, I'm going to do the middle ones first, then pop the whole PE sprue into the vise and finish off with the outer ones. Now for a little bit of trimming and this one's done. There we go, that bit of rigging is now done. Right, before we put the wing bracing in, let's touch up some of that white on the lower wing.
there we go, that's looking a lot better. Now it's time to start adding the braces to the lower wing. These braces went on really well, a really nice fit. These two sets of outer braces are an absolute nightmare. I actually managed to snap this first one. And as you'll see, I had to drill out the hole to seat them correctly. Even then I got it a bit wrong. To drill it out I used a 0.3mm drill bit in my rotary tool to make it larger. As you can see, I snapped it a second time. So out with the super glue again to fix it, and the fit looks okay too. Now rinse and repeat until all four are done. That's all the braces attached to the lower wing now. Well, I'm pretty happy with how things have turned out so far. So if you're enjoying the video, please join me for the next episode. Remember, if you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel to help it grow. Get the message out there to as many models as possible. Like the video, ring my bell, and remember, stay safe, keep on modeling.